it's Mega Mailbag time, and not only that, it's Mega Mailbag Christmas edition. Awesome, the first one. So we've got a bag of switches. Now these little different ones, these are single pole, single throw switches, but in a weird configuration. So is it Hongju, is it? Hongju? Now this side here, if I remember rightly, is the normally open side, and that's the normally closed side. But these middle two pins here, this one and this one, they're actually linked together, so they're the same terminal. So it switches between this one and this one, basically. Um, then in the middle here you've got LED. So it's obviously designed for having two LEDs or a single, and these particular ones have got a single LED. So these are for a project I'm working on. You'll see that in the future. Not too distant future. I've been working on that for a few weeks now, and it's coming along quite nicely. You should definitely subscribe, because that uh, video I'll be doing on that, I've built a LoRa to Wi-Fi gateway, built my own. It's got two LoRa modules with a Wi-Fi gateway using ESP32. That all works fine, and a few other little things like that. So I've been playing with LoRa. So that's going to be an interesting video when you get release that, so make sure you subscribe if you want to see that. It's a water valve. This is for a project I'm going to work on for my wife. Um, she has a veggie garden she's set up, a couple of garden beds, like raised beds, and there's a cat keeps on going in there, which don't really don't want that. The idea is we can hook this up to a hose and have a electronic controller, shut the valve on off, so when it detects movement in the area, it sprays. That's the project anyway, I haven't got all the bits yet, still waiting for more. I might do a video on that too. This is DHL, and I think I know where this has come from. Yep, PCB way. Last week the other day if I wanted to have, receive one of their little Christmas packs. I said, yeah, sure. A little Christmas present they're sending out to people. I'm not sure how many people got these. I haven't watched much YouTube recently because I've been too busy making this project and working on. So what have we got in here? PCB way star. This would be quite nice for the Christmas tree actually. Oh, it's got LEDs on it. LEDs and a coin cell on the back. Hmm, let's get battery out. Where's my right gone? Yeah, there we go. Got a battery in there. Trinkly LEDs. That's not bad. What's in the next one? It's like a little reindeer. Same thing, trinkly LEDs. Takes a battery on the back. Let's plug one in. Oh, wrong side. The other side. Oh, it's both double sided this one. I think the light source thing is better. You can hang that from something. Yeah, nice little cute things, aren't they? And the last one, bubble type one. Just fits in that bag, doesn't it? Plug the battery in this one. Probably all the same, isn't it? Twinkly light. Double-sided too? Yeah, it is. So, thanks to those PCB. That's a nice Christmassy theme. Awesome. He's on the edge of my life. That's better. This looks interesting. What on earth is this? Okay, there's a whole bunch of voltage regulator things. I'm not going to get one out of the packet. I'm going to try and show you though. Three pin regulator. I think that's what it is. Three pins. Yeah, I think it's just a linear voltage regulator. A little tiny package like that with a converter on it. I think that's what it was. V yeah, got a V in and ground on one side and V out and ground that side. So yes, yeah, it's a voltage regulator. I think there's a 3.3 volts in Briley. I thought I might need these for my project. And as you can see, I kind of bought a few of them. Um, what's that, about 50, I think? Yeah, 50 is what I purchased. Lifetime supply. I've bought so much stuff recently. I've still got like 40 things I'm waiting for. That's one of these mega mail bags. I've got lots of stuff. Oh, excellent. Now, yes, these are what I was thinking now. Excellent. Been waiting for these. This is a USB. Is it USB to UART? Something like that. I can't remember exactly what it is now. SPI. It's got SPI on it. It'll start. These are so you can plug in something like a keyboard and then you can use that on a device such as an Arduino. That's what the intention is. And I need these for capturing keystrokes. So I can people type in numbers and have those go into an Arduino module. So you can type in whatever, names and stuff like that. And then the Arduino can then have those inputs directly into it using a keyboard. It took a while to find these things, but there, there seems to be lots of them out there. Just took a while to find them. Make sure you check out the links down below. Wherever I can, I'll put links in. Helps to find my channel, help me to buy things for my bag. This is, I think, yes it is. It's a little, I think it's a booster or a buck converter. So it's got a little switching IC on there, U1, little inductor, and a voltage adjustment. 
And I think these were buck converters. I don't remember. But I've got these as a way of stepping down to 5 volts or 3.3 volts or whatever. My project isn't working. So I've got a few of those to try them out. I've got a few different versions coming. I'm not quite sure which one I'm going to use yet. But that's not a bad little module. It's quite, quite compact. Ah, oh, excellent. Perfect timing. I need some of these because I've got a power supply which I've been asked to fix for someone because the plug actually broke off it. Oh, let me grab it. This is actually for my parents-in-law, I suppose. My father-in-law asked me to, to look at this for him. And this is what they've got, is this thing. And this, as you can see, is a barrel jack, right? And this is broken off. It got yanked or something, or I think it fell off a table or something, and it broke the jack off. Oh, this, I, I can fix that, that's not a problem. But it turns out all the jacks I had were like a shorter style. They actually got different lengths. The ones I had were quite short, so I think, oh, well, that's not good, it's not going to work. So now I've bought some longer ones. So now I can actually repair this for them. And it's due to come here in about an hour. So, yes, should be able to fix it for them just in time. Excellent. Cool. These are some more lower modules. So these are a bit different to ones I've already got. The ones I've got already are much bigger. So these are the E-Byte E32 868 T20D. So this is 100 milliwatt output power on 868 megahertz. Hopefully you pronounce the same, so a quick look. Looks the same, excellent, so I should drop it straight in. The ones I've already got are, are the 1 watt versions. So that's the 868 T30D. Excellent. It's at least a pin compatible, which is great. This is all for that project I've been working on for a while. It's going quite well. So I've got uh, look there, six, six of those. I've also got a couple of the, bit, the higher wattage ones. I've ordered some more of the higher wattage ones too, because I need like for different stations and stuff like that. So it's quite a big project I'm working on. So I need lots of modules. If you're not familiar with LoRa, it's a low power, long range communication system. But it's also very low bandwidth. So you can't do a lot much data with them. You can't like play videos through it and stuff like that. It's just not impossible. It's very low bit rates. But it means you can get a long way. If you've ever seen um, Andreas Spice videos, you've seen his, you may be familiar with it. He does, he's done a lot of videos on LoRa, many of which I've also watched. Stereo input jacks. Got a 3.5mm barrel jacks, stereo. Type, so you've got tip ring sleeve. Just to make sure the little collars are here to go with them. So, seems all loose. Mm. And I'm missing one of the nuts for those. That's annoying. Oh well. It is another valve. So it's very similar to the first one, but a different size threads, I think it is. I can't remember. Anyway, it's brass instead of plastic. I think it's got different options. I wasn't quite sure what I was going to use, and I kind of get carried away, like I always tend to do when I'm buying stuff. I don't have a problem. I don't have a buying problem. I can buy plenty of things. You are green? Oh, okay. All right. These are some long USB cables. Just nothing exciting really, but it's a little, uh, it's a micro, oh, sorry, it's a mini USB. And it's a three meter long. So I'll be links down for, below for these. I thought I might need these as power supplies for my projects, and I may do. We'll see how we go with that. I'm not sure. So this is significantly bigger. This is the last package. Let's see what we got. Dark, slim down. So this is an irrigation kit. Um, I'm not going to get it all out. It's going to be a mess. It's got various heads, sprinkler head things. Pipe works, tees, hose adapter. This is, you know, if you want to do irrigation of your veggie garden or whatever, you can buy them from a shop, obviously, or you can buy them from China for a fraction of the cost. Shh, don't tell everyone who you want them. So, some outlets, little sprinkler head things here. So, this is going to be dual function, it's going to be watering garden, watering the veggie garden. So he's going to do that watering, just typical everyday stuff, you know, because summer, he's going to need it. You water at night, not during the day, because apparently the water droplets can cause the leaves to burn and stuff like that, apparently. And um, also, I'm going to have it set up as well, so it's got a sensor. So as I mentioned earlier in the video, um, if it detects movement, it will spray to try and ward off any cats. So I might do those in a, like a perimeter, have one night, go around a perimeter, which doesn't spray into the flowers. And that way I'll hopefully avoid getting those wet when it doesn't need to. Yeah, we'll figure it out. Anyway, that's why I've got these valves. So thanks for watching. Make sure you click the subscribe button and the bell icon. If you don't click the bell, you won't get notified. It's really annoying having to tell you this every single video, but it's important. Otherwise, you won't get told. You know, if you've subscribed, you think, oh, I'm going to be subscribing to see these future videos. 
Well, unless you click the bell icon, no you won't. Not really. Have a check down below. Comments. Merry Christmas everyone. Twinkle twinkle. Thanks, busy boy. Catch you later. Bye.